So in today's video, I just want to go over a failed dropshipping store that I actually created at the beginning of quarantine, why it failed, what I learned from it, and just reflect on it and what I'm going to apply from what I learned on that store to all my future stores from now on. So what's up guys? If you're new here, my name is Alex. I do stock trading and e-commerce for a living and I just try to make these YouTube videos to value pack everything that I can to help you guys out with getting started or scaling your businesses depending on where you're currently at. So as you can see, I'm on the go today. I just picked up my Starbucks and I'm headed to the bank, but I just wanted to stop really quickly to make this video. Okay, so most of my stores, I find a product on AliExpress and I'll end up building a entire brand around it or a niche store. But this time I decided to go the print on demand route. And what I did, I was already working on a store at the beginning of quarantine and it kind of went downhill after all the shipping um, complications started hitting and all of that. So I started working on a print on demand store and I wanted to make it kind of a trendy uh, pandemic store and not exactly like selling, you know, virus shirts and stuff, but like funny, trendy clothing. Like I had this one shirt that we were selling that said COVID-19 ruined my birthday 2020 and just stuff like that. So at first it was going great. I spent the first week, you know, finding um, suppliers for the actual clothing, building all my designs, and actually putting up the entire store around it. And right off the bat, the ads were doing good. I started off doing the COVID ruined my birthday shirt, and that was doing really well. And I also uh, slapped a tweet from President Trump on a shirt that said, uh, social distancing. I slapped it on a shirt, and we sold that one as well. It did great. But as we continue to scale and build this store on and come out with new designs, we were coming out with new designs as other people were putting up stores just like ours. So in the process of building our store, competitors were seeing my store and putting up other stores similar and jumping on this trend of coronavirus shirts. So we were doing great at first. We were making our own personal mock-ups. We were actually ordering some of the shirts ourselves to do our own photo shoots and all that. So we weren't just using your standard, you know, print on demand, uh, horrible quality pictures that you usually see. So it really did look like an actual brand. But with anything, you have to stay relevant with the trend. So maybe making a pandemic clothing store wouldn't have been as good as you know making a trend uh, clothing store where you actually hit each trend. Because we also tried going a little outbounds and nailing some other shirts on there as well, like Tiger King and a few other you know trends that popped in during the pandemic. So everything was doing good on there until the competition really started coming in. We started seeing you know an increase in ad costs and uh, everything else. Uh, coming into play. On top of that, you have other stores where they have poor customer service, so customers will see the ads for your shirts and then the designs that were stolen from you and assume that they're both the same company and then your reviews go downhill because of the other company's reputation. But honestly, the reason the store failed was because we really could not keep up with it all. It became saturated after a while because we were keeping up with one trend rather than moving from each trend to the other. Everyone started seeing what we were doing and jumping in on it and wanting to make all the money that we were doing on our print on demand store. So we started literally seeing the same designs popping up the next day. Some shirts were sourced cheaper. I don't know where they were going through or what quality they were using, but some of the images on the ads actually looked really bad. So we still were above the competition as far as custom content goes, as far as branding goes, and as far as advertising, we were doing good, but we started losing uh, profitability as time went on. And then you obviously have the lessening impact of the pandemic where people really just don't care as much. These funny shirts, these trendy shirts are just kind of becoming annoying. So what did I learn from this failed store? I learned that you have to stay up to date with all of these trends. You have to move, you have to adjust, and that's all part of the e-commerce game. Another thing I learned is you always have to stay one step above the competition. Whether it's your custom content, your ads, your actual brand, your website, you want everything to look cleaner and more trustworthy than the other person who's actually selling the same items as you. Let's be real, no matter what you're selling, you're usually not going to be the only one selling it unless you have a patent. And if you have a patent, you're not going to be drop shipping. So there's going to be competition everywhere. You have to stay one step above them. Another lesson is to just completely diversify your brand. So don't just stick with one thing. And that goes along with following the trends as well. But we were selling t-shirts on there. We were selling joggers, hoodies, 
everything else and we actually created a ton of upsells in the process of doing it so really just throwing everything together on one store and not having it look nice is a bad idea but the way we had you know a variety of different accessories on there all matching the same brand or the same trend um, it fit well so that just goes to show really no e-commerce business can last forever unless you really do follow each trend and uh, adjust your brand as time goes on but certain stores are gonna die out you're gonna have to close some things down and just move on that's part of the e-commerce game so that's my reflection on that brand that I created at the beginning of quarantine it actually did very well we scaled it up over a hundred thousand dollars a month for the first two three months of quarantine and then around the fourth month we shut it down and I started working on the new brand that I'm working on now so I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like to help me out and subscribe as there's plenty more to follow. I have two e-com resources linked in the description below. You're welcome to check out either one of those. The first one being a free Facebook group that you guys are welcome to join. And the second one being an Instagram page with tons of useful resources on there. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.